Welcome to Video Bites, little snippets into Advanced Equine Studies programming. Advanced Equine Studies takes viewers from the classroom, into the barn, the arena, and the feed room. This snippet gives a glimpse into the clinical testing part of the program, starting with the standing endoscopy. Let's listen. All right, so we're going up the nasal passages. And when we want to look at the upper airways, we go into what's called the ventral meatus. That means the most, the lowest of the passageways, otherwise you won't get there. It's a normal amount of vasculature in here. So we keep on going and keep on going. Steady there, big guy. All right, so we're almost in the upper airways. We'll go a little bit further. Here is the soft palate, and what we're gonna do is turn so everything is in the right orientation. So this is the soft palate here that we're approaching. We'll go in a little bit further and a little more. And then we see, sorry, let me turn, that's all right. The guttural pouch openings here. This is the nasal septum that divides into two nares or two nasal passages. And then we have the nasopharyngeal recess up there. If we go in a little bit closer, Beth. Okay, so that's the recess function, kind of unknown. I'm gonna, perfect. Okay, we'll go in a little further. Now we're looking at the actual upper airway. Down here is the epiglottis, and it's got, you know when you're looking at the epiglottis that it's in the right position. It's got that beautiful scalloped edge, and you can see all the vasculature. As part of the standing endoscopy, Dr. Maison inserts an introducer to take the scope into the guttural pouch. Listen again. So there's our introducer right there. Okay. You can go a little closer and we'll go in and twist. Uh, I think maybe the other way. Yep, and go in and in and in. Beautiful. Now we're in the guttural pouch. That was perfect, Beth. And there are two sides to the guttural pouch. There's the medial, where we are right now, and you can see there's some pretty important structures in here. What we're looking at is nerves. That's a branch of the vagus. And then if we go all the way down to the bottom, there we go. Now, come out just a little bit, Beth. Now, if you watch this, this is the external that's the, actually, that's the maxillary and then the external carotid. And so what we're looking at as it pulses is an artery pulsing away. So that's one of the reasons why the guttural pouches are such an important structure. That's the... During the discussion of non-infectious respiratory disease, DDSP and laryngeal hemiplasia, the full program also includes a treadmill endoscopy which looks at the function of the larynx during exertion. Forced oscillatory mechanics is part of lung function testing. It allows veterinarians to determine how well the airways work. Let's listen to the doctor. Develop that nasal edema. Mm -hmm. We gave her the phenylephrine, and now she's coming back down again. Oh. So we can say, yes, we saw um, a large increase in whole um, respiratory system resistance mm -hmm. when her nose swelled, mm -hmm. and we don't care about that. Right. Like, that's not what we want to measure. Mm -hmm. From forced oscillatory mechanics, we go to the BAL test. Listen again to Dr. Maison. It's called the bronchoalveolar lavage. We're going to use an endoscope again, but this time it's actually a bronchoscope, mm -hmm. and it's very, very long. It will reach from her nose all the way back to here. Mm -hmm. and we're going to look down at her airways using the bronchoscope, and then we're going to retrieve some of the fluid that's in her lungs. Okay. And we'll go from there. And that's for testing? That's for okay. testing. Yep. Yep. Wow. All right. Beautiful. So we're upside down. Let's... Beautiful. 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 This has lidocaine in it because having something down your airways is not terribly pleasant, so this is going to deaden these, and it's, oh, sorry. We're going to dive down into the trachea. So I'm not going to do too much. I'm going to let you find your spot. So keep going. Keep going. 
keep going. You got it? Go. Go, go, go. Beautiful. Okay. Now, there's some little bumps in that are probably old trauma. Maybe she got kicked sometime. So down we go all the way. Going, keep going, keep going. Ah. Now she's got some mucus in there, as you can see. We're in the tracheal puddle right now, so keep going. You gotta get past that, beautiful. Now we're at the main stem. That's the carina, so stop right there. It should be nice and thin, like it is. We've got the right and the left main stem bronchi. We're gonna go into the right. Can I now? I'm gonna put a little of this lidocaine down in here again. There we go, beautiful. You can see there's an airway going off that way. That's the accessory, that's going to the accessory uh, lobe of the lung, whoops, right there. Good. So in a little further, Christina, and usually when they cough, if they cough, I stop for a second and then keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Fluid pumped out of the lung is processed for analysis, and then a variety of samples are examined and discussed. Advanced Equine Studies is the only program that shows lung function in its entirety with comprehensive commentary from one of the nation's leading authorities on respiratory health. Dr. Maison brings her experience into the discussion, adding so many interesting facts relevant to the overall study and entertainment value of the program.